Thank you for renting through us. An introduction to your lease contract follows. This is an important contract between you and the owner, where the owner promises to provide you the property in a certain condition for a certain time, and you promise to look after it, to return it in good condition, and to pay the rent for that time. Even if you have rented before, please pay close attention so we can answer all of your questions and assist in a smooth tenancy. Thank you again. The lessor or owner landlord. We prefer the term owner as the word landlord may have an incorrect and old fashioned connotation of a greedy overlord, a Mr. Burns type if you like. If your name is Burns, we apologize. In fact, the huge majority of owners are ordinary people struggling with debt. Most are worried about interest rates, worried that you look after the property, worried that nothing will go wrong. The tenant, or tenants more accurately, the names of any adults living at the premises must be listed here as a tenant. Please be sure that the email address and mobile phone number of the contact person who represents all of the tenants is noted. This is important. The agent manager. The owner has employed the agent, and that's us, to manage the property and to follow the owner's instructions. You could think of the agent as an employee of the owner. Once again, please be sure that we complete the email address of your property manager. This is important too. Your email. We've highlighted this again. Checking this box means we can send you important legal notices to the email address you specified. It also means you can formally contact your property manager by email using the address in item 3 under the lessor's agent section. We may also contact each other using post, of course. The premises you are renting, any inclusions that are included in the lease must be noted here or on an attached inventory list. Examples of inclusions are furniture, yard equipment and items that are not obviously part of the premises. How long you are renting the premises for? It's the term of this agreement and it can either be a fixed term for a period of months or periodic which is an open-ended agreement that can be ceased by either party with appropriate notice. Most owners will only accept a lease for a fixed term. The starting on and ending on dates show the fixed term you are committed for as a tenant. If you wish to break this agreement before the ending on date, there are substantial costs. The costs associated with breaking a fixed term lease before the ending on date include a break lease fee, often about the equivalent of one week's rent plus GST, and advertising charges and rent of course until a new tenant is found. If at any stage your circumstances change and you need to break your lease, contact our office immediately for details on the required procedure. The rent. This specifies how much the rent is and how often it must be paid. Rent will always be due on the same day that you collect your keys and rent must be paid by this day each week to prevent falling behind. If your rent does fall behind, the following will occur. When rent falls behind by two or three days, you'll receive a courtesy SMS from us. When rent falls seven days behind, you'll receive a formal notice to remedy breach as required by the law. If you do not pay the rent by the due date on the notice to remedy to breach, you'll be issued with a notice to leave, which will have an adverse effect on your future tenancy references. Not mentioned on the screen, but very important, is to call. If your circumstances change and you suspect you are going to fall behind in rent, your property manager will be very happy to talk with you and talk with the owner to strike some agreement that may be acceptable to both parties. Paying rent. For security reasons, we can't accept any cash on our premises, nor can we accept direct deposits for rental payments as we cannot identify the deposit as being made by you. Instead, rental can be conveniently paid by RE Connect. This is an easy direct debit method. There is an information pamphlet in your tenant pack that we will explain to you shortly. Or if you prefer to pay the rent in person, you can pop in a bank check or a money order. Paying rent conveniently. A little more about RE Connect. RE Connect is a national rent payment method that is completely secure and the easiest way by far for you to pay your rent. For a small monthly fee you have the following options. 
a direct deposit, where money is taken from your nominated account each week, fortnight or month, as per your request. Secondly, you can pay over the phone or internet. To set up RE Connect, you'll need to complete the form in your tenant pack. This section of the list deals with the rental bond. Your bond is not held by us. We direct it to the Residential Tenancies Authority, which acts as a third party in holding and the dispersing of bonds at the end of your tenancy. You are required to pay the equivalent of four weeks rent as a rental bond. A bond is your promise that you will pay the rent and look after the premises and when you vacate, return the premises in a certain condition. The condition report is a very important document and we'll mention more of this shortly. Please note that if there are future rental increases, your bond must also be topped up to always equal four times the rent. Property services. This section of the lease covers electricity, phone and gas. You're responsible for the connection and disconnection of electricity and phone. If there is gas at your property, you'll be required to keep the bottle filled throughout the tenancy, including filling it before you vacate. Your tenant pack includes convenient methods to arrange these services. About water. If the rented premises is not a unit, you are given a water limit by the City Council and if you exceed this limit you'll have to pay what's called excess water. Or the entire water bill if the property is AAA rated and is fitted with all of the correct water saving devices as required by legislation. You as a tenant can be charged by the owner for all water usage. Please be sure to clarify this point before signing the lease. Changing the premises. The term changing includes adding things to or removing things from the property, such as an Ostar dish, installing picture hooks on walls, or erection of additional fencing, tree removal, air conditioning installation, lots of things. If you wish to install Ostar at the premises, for example, you must first request permission from us in writing. You will be notified by our agency of the owner's decision and this of course must be done prior to the installation. Obtaining written permission from the property manager is mandatory in every instance where you intend to change the premises in it. Tenants or occupants. This specifies the number of people who are approved to reside, that is to occupy the premises, including those named as tenants in the previous section. Again, please note any occupant over the age of 18 must be added to the lease as a tenant. Removing or adding people from the lease must have prior approval. All additional tenants must apply and have the application approved by the owner prior to moving in. For more details on the procedure, contact us anytime. Body corporate laws. A body corporate is merely a company jointly owned by all of the unit owners in a complex of units. The purpose of the body corporate includes attending to the common property issues such as roof repairs, outside painting, garden maintenance and the installation of rooftop aerials. These owners often employ a specialist body corporate manager to act on their behalf, including maintaining a peaceful environment amongst the tenants of the complex, whether they be owner occupiers or tenants. If there is a body corporate for your premises, this section of the lease will be complete with the relevant body corporate manager and a copy of your body corporate bylaws. The bylaws are additional obligations to the lease that you must observe as a tenant residing at this complex. Pets. Please be advised now that if you wish to keep a pet at your property you must first have permission from the owner. If you wish to have a pet approved you must first submit a written request to our office. Once the owner has made the decision, you will receive a written response from us. And if pets are to be kept at the property, please keep them outside at all times. And upon vacating, you'll have to spray internally and externally for fleas and ticks. And of course, any damage done to the property or the yard must be repaired upon vacating. Maintenance. As a managing agent of your property, Page and Pierce will contact the owner with any maintenance requests or issues you raise with us. For insurance purposes, all maintenance must be reported in writing and email is great. 
you'll find a maintenance repair form in your tenant pack should you wish to pop that into us. However, if you have urgent maintenance or if you or the property are in danger, please contact our office immediately. And after hours, if you have urgent maintenance, please call the numbers noted in this section. If this is Page and Piers, our after hours message will provide the tradespeople and further instructions for you. And some more important reading, the standard and special terms. These pages outline the standard and any special terms and conditions of your lease agreement. It's important to read and carefully understand all of these terms prior to signing the agreement. Be reminded now that you are signing a legal document. If you require any further advice on these matters, you are welcome to have your solicitor advise you prior to signing. By signing this agreement, you are agreeing to all of the terms and conditions outlined. Upon collecting your keys, you will be issued with an entry condition report. It is very important that you do the following. Firstly, when you are at the property, carefully compare the condition report with what you see. If there is anything you wish to add or anything you do not agree with, then write your additions or comments on the tenant half of the report. Sign the bottom of each page and don't forget, every tenant named in the first section has to sign. Return the completed condition report to our office within three working days. And please note that if the report isn't received within this time frame, that's three days, your comments will be null and void and the report cannot be used by you when you vacate. This is very relevant to your bond refund. 99% of the world's problems are caused by bad communication, we'd say. So if it's a crisis, call anybody at Page and Pierce at any time and we'll act. But mostly it's routine. We love tenants who email us and tenants who ring first to make a time when you need to see us. And especially, we love tenants who understand that we're often the meat and the sandwich. And yes, we will get back to you. We each only have one central nervous system. And it's just that sometimes the life of a property manager gets chaotically out of control no matter how hard we try to plan our days. Thank you for your time. Please let a staff member know you have completed this brief introduction and are ready to have your questions answered and to finalise the handover of your new home. Thanks again.